Hey YouTube, I just got back from stargazing and taking some photos of the night sky with my Canon PowerShot SX530HS uh, digital camera here. It was a human night, but clear night. We've now had a few clear nights that have been great for stargazing. So I decided to take out my tripod, barn door tracker, and camera to get some photos of the Big Dipper and stars that surround it. What I mainly want to talk about is this barn door tracker tool. You can definitely get 15 or 30 second exposures with a digital camera and capture constellations, but if you want to get more stars, you'll need a longer exposure time. The problem with taking a long exposure and keeping the camera fixed is the Earth rotates, and this means that stars will start to rotate in your photograph. It's great to make photos of star trails, but if you just want to capture more fixed individual stars, you need some mechanism of counteracting the rotation of the Earth. A very simple way to do that is to build this, a barn door tracker, which is just a barn door hinge, typical door hinge, two pieces of wood, a camera mount, a couple of T-nuts, one for this threaded rod that will adjust the angle of the tracker, and then another one to mount on the tripod. And the way this works is, at, is the trigonometry is such that if you move this handle at one revolution per minute, which you know is easy with these uh, marks here to, to help you know, know uh, when you're turning it plus a timer to see how fast you're turning it, you can successfully counteract the rotation of the earth and keep stars fixed in the frame. Yesterday I got 15 second and 30 second exposures which are fine without this plus a two minute and four minute exposure and tonight I got an eight minute exposure that I'm going to look at in a little bit. This was incredibly simple to make. Most of the parts were just scraps that I had, like the wood and the hinge, as well as uh, I think a few of these bolts, threaded rod and the brackets here. I just had to get the T-nuts. So the total cost of this tracking device was $2. Let me just go through some of the parts a little more thoroughly. I tried to use, um, I found some plans online and I'll post the link there, but a lot of these bolts are um, quarter a quarter diameter and then 20 pitch. Uh, I have a threaded, a threaded rod here with, I, I don't remember the length, I think this was just um, in the junk box. A couple nuts, this handle that I also found in the junk box that turns very, very nicely. You know, once every 30 seconds for a wide-angle photo, I'll turn it clockwise like that. Uh, a cap nut, a plastic cap nut, so this doesn't, you know, dig into the, uh, dig into the other, the second piece of wood. Again, door hinge, that was pretty easy. A couple brackets and more quarter 20 bolts nuts and wing nuts so you can you know adjust this camera mount. I might want to add another another um, axis of rotation to be honest. The standard camera mount thread is quarter 20 UNC and again that's a good reason just to stick with quarter 20 bolts. Again I'll post the plans and I'll show you how the camera mounts here. And there you have it, you know, a very simple device to get night sky photos. $2 to put this together, $45 for the super zoom camera. I'm hoping in the winter time to get, uh, to capture the Pleiades and hopefully be able to get some of the gas clouds around the stars. Anyway, I hope this inspired you to take your home astrophotography up a notch. And I'll be sure to post, you know, future star trails photos or or other photos I post in uh, subsequent videos. Thanks for watching. We'll have some more bike videos and computer videos coming up in the next few days and next few weeks. Like and subscribe as always, and have a great night.